Yolanda, and I'm going to be talking, or I'm going to be reading an excerpt from my essay, Comparing Strange Fruit by Billie Holiday to If I Rolled the World by Nas. Southern blacks were treated worse than second-class citizens with the little human rights they did have being violated by racist whites afraid of change and progress. Holiday's song was an acknowledgement to the mistreatment of her people, hoping to raise, to raise awareness in the North. Nas' song does the same, though lynchings are less common today. He speaks of the oppression his people still suffer from. They still are treated as second-class citizens, as he says he can only dream of better living the type of place to raise kids in. Songs like Strange Fruit are reminders of oppression and racism from the past. <laughs> Nas' If I Ruled the World and songs like his are evidence that racism and oppression still exist today, even though the times have apparently changed. Lynchings may no longer exist physically, but minorities are still oppressed, evident within things like the media. When a newscast showed a white male searching for food and supplies while a black man looted a store after Hurricane Katrina. No race is better than another, nor should one race have authority over another. It takes a lot of effort and time to change the ways of a country, so all the oppressed can do is express their thoughts and ideas through music and the written word in hopes of inspiring others to act for change and fight for their equality. Though it won't be easy, since according to Nas, still nobody want a brother having shit. For minorities, the American dream does not exist. They are still struggling for their right to dream.